Lauren Reed has two small children and a full-time job. She knows yearly flu shots don't protect against all strains of the flu. Even if it's a little chance to avoid it, I'll take that. Two researchers in two different labs have been working on a universal flu vaccine, one that would protect against all strains. Now they're working together. David Baker is designing proteins to generate broad responses to flu. The proteins mimic the virus so that when you get immunized with the protein, uh, your body sees that it's foreign and makes a response. And if it's similar enough to the virus, then the response to the vaccine will also be a response to the virus. The protein leaves the body, but the immune response remains active. And the tube then gets loaded into the gene gun here into this cylinder. There's, this is a 12 shooter. In her lab, Deborah Fuller had identified genetic sequences to fight flu, but people's immune responses weren't strong. Now with Baker's protein platform and the gene gun she's developing, work on a universal flu vaccine is moving forward. We put the DNA encoded on small one micron size uh, gold particles. And those glow particles are accelerated by a gene gun uh, at high velocity and then transferred into the uh, cells of the skin. She says it doesn't hurt a bit. Now she's working on a gene gun for clinical trials, but those may not begin for five years. I'm Marty Salt reporting.